Error, it's got four six blades. It's one degree outside. Yes. Nice and cold. This evening's little project, if I can turn my head enough to find where I'm going, is for no BS survival. No BS survival. And it's the prize he offered for someone in the UK, and it was less logistical nightmare for me to do it for him and post it to the chap in the UK. It's a regrind, as close to these lines as I can, but the biggest thing is a clip point at the top. A buoy sort of drop point thing there. So let's make a start. I'm also this week gonna tinker with Dar3N, Darren, big Darren, uh, use the grinder to do his Glock and then finish off two other guys, including one that's picking it up Saturday. So it's Golock Martindale just fest week. Um, let's see, I made a start on that one, but I'm I haven't actually got to the grind lines that he put his spec in on his video. So I'll make a start on this and uh, go for it. Still a bit slow to grinder, but yeah, I'll be alright. Just get this sorted out and find a bubble block. See you in a bit. So, um, yes, very interesting using a, a beast of a grinder. The actual speed is slow, but I've used it for what, 50 minutes? 
It's good. Very good. It's very, very good. I mean, one side's pretty even. The other side's struggling as, as the belt is just starting to slip over to one side. What I've done is I've got, if you look at the this section, that's a five degree blending into a seven, blending into a five. Now it doesn't look like this end has got as much took off. And the reason is is because it's a distal taper, distal taper. The blade gets narrower the further it goes down there. So it's already thinner. So even though it's got a five degree the same as it has here, it doesn't look like I've removed as much. But that goes five, five, into a seven, into a five degree. So that is quite a lean end there. I don't know if you're supposed to be able to do that with the Martindales. You know how true they are. making plain cuts on it. Just get a bigger piece of wood, it's a bit easier because your thumb gets a bit close to the end. Oh it's just curly queuing. I don't want to go too lean on it because it's too easy for shaving and it's quite nasty on the edge doing shaving so I, I stopped at 5 degrees because he's thin as hell anyway so say a more robust edge there for more chopping that's just me just, just holding it and that is just losing the end there. I gave it an unsharpened toppy there so for piercing big hole in the board there yeah It's, it's working like working like hell. The other thing I did was I put a few contours there to put a, a sharp hedge, a series of sharp hedges for ferro rod. What I want to do now is um, clean up the handle because I've got grubby fingers, and uh, I'm gonna put this to bed tonight. With a puff of this. My garage is notoriously damp. Chalk proof lid. Try the other one. I must be getting old. Q. Super job. Into its sheath, coated in that inhibitor, smell of almonds, and I'll pick up that later on in the week, smooth the hand away, get on with big darns, and there's two more guys as well. Busy week. Thanks for joining me again. Doing the old power trooper for no BS. And then uh, we'll catch up later, mate. Let's go from Wessex, please. This grinder. <laughs> Getting all enthusiastic. Very good.
the next one.